Today's the day. We're at extreme fire warnings. Bushfires have broken out all throughout New South Wales on the East Coast. We've got two small fires, one south of us and one north of us. Nothing really to concern us yet, but you can see the haze in the sky. But on top of that, we've got very overheated, sick bunnies. Yes. And they're like so too, they're like this one in my ones. arms, or Esther, you hold it. This this one looks like it may not make it. No, it's not. You can see. It doesn't look so good. It looks like an ant had been in now it. Now we're going to bring the babies in the house in the air conditioning, and then we're going to get oh, Rose bring as well. These kiddos, they look like they're doing pretty good. You can see they're panting really hard and their ears are hard and we put wet, them this morning. wet blankets in there. I sprayed them this morning. Did you? We put wet blankets in there for them to lay on. So we'll see. Not for the rabbits here. Just gonna be We're giving Rose a treat. Carrots. She was eating it. She could jump this. She could just step. Oh, she could get out easily. I know. We he wants to her. We're just wanting her to cool He's off. No hope of getting out of it. Yeah. Uh, All right. I'm gonna take your towel away from you because you're trouble. I'm gonna dig it up, aren't you, to make a nest? That, that one we don't even see. Those are sicky. You can see the difference in the breathing patterns between the two. The bigger one on the right's got a steady breathing pattern. This one on the left. Um, the black ones are breathing from faster. Max. These black ones are from Max. Yeah, it's 97 degrees right now. 97. Yeah, so that's 36 Fahrenheit. Wow. 36 Celsius, 97. 97 degrees. Yeah. That's the hottest we've ever had. No, it's we've gone crazy. up to 40. It's the high of all of it on 68. Just give it to the bunny. Yeah, today was a hot day. I had to go outside and water the whole garden soaking Because it. the garden was wilted. You should see the, the broccoli leaves now. They're just pouring up. Have they? Yeah. And you I, know, we're going to need to water again tonight. Yeah. If we want the gardens to survive. Or and thrive, I should say. I felt sick after that. You did. You did such a good job, though. There's quite a lot of smoke in the air. Fires have left our sky smoke-filled. And with a red, pinky haze, this is not a sunset. Well, we think this one's just about dead. I think it's dead. Yeah. Heat wave. It's dead. No, it's dead. Praise God, it was just one. What do you want to do with it? Wait, it's still moving. It's still breathing. It's, it's, wait, it's still breathing. It's barely surviving. Wait, so you just hold it really. <gasps> oh, that feels good. Oh, okay, put the babies up. Put the babies up. Is Rose up? Put them in their nest. Sorry, Rose. Sorry, Rose. Gideon abandoned you. Can you manage it? Yeah. If you just want to put it on the ground, Esther, and then just lift them one by one. Oh. That... Sorry, Rose baby, but your baby's dead. I'm gonna show, can you open one side so I can show Rose her bunny? Just make sure she approves. She's kind Where of we put them, Mom? back in there. Rose, look, Rose. Rose. Rose, can you see? Can you help her? Rose. Can you help her? Rose, Rose, baby. You know, if there was something wrong, she would have she would have done stuff with it. Like if that baby She wouldn't feed it a minute ago. I was trying to feed it and she wouldn't it's still kind of breathing. Yeah. It's taking a breath every couple seconds. Okay, so this bunny still technically is alive, so I'm gonna put it just here. And see what Rose does with it. Go and get me the hose from Finn and turn it on high power and I'm gonna clean this puppy out. Jet? Yeah. Oh dear, is she eating it? Oh no, she's licking it. She's licking it. She is? Yep, she's trying. She's trying to make it live? I don't know. Okay, Finn. What will just bring me? Mommy clean out the wrap touch? Yes. Did you get spray?
braid? Yep. Did you go to the pool? Yep. Well, we lost one. We're really not sure why we lost her. She was a scrawny one, she or he. We did think it was could have been a heat wave. Could have been a heat stroke. It was 90, what was it? 93. 93 degrees, 36 Fahrenheit, somewhere, somewhere I'm just guessing. Um, my garden wilted and we had to get out here and actually had to water it two times today to bring it back to life. The heat was that bad. And some of it hasn't fully come back yet. Like my basil did not like the heat. Um, so yeah, we lost one. Rose went over. After you're done examining her, you can... Where's her other eye? It's in there, it's just shut. Oh, there it is. You tell me when you're done and then I'll dispose of her appropriately. All right, well, this happens. And uh, bunnies in the wild, many of them die. Really? Easy. Yeah, and uh, they only make it to, on average, a year. Yeah. It's like this poor, poor sea turtles, you know? Like, they, they lay 50, 60 eggs and one make it, one or two. Well, Rose, never mind. I do feel like I've learned a lesson that if I have very young kittens, I need to bring them into the into a cooler environment on these hot days. I had checked them today. Okay. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye, little bunny. Oh, how sad. So what does one do with a dead little tiny coney like this? I could, if I had pigs, I could feed her to the pigs. I would just put her in a stock pot, boil her down with all the other pig scrap to make a swell and chuck this in it for some good protein for the pigs. But I don't have pigs. And the other rabbits, though I wouldn't put it past them, a mother eating a little tiny baby, they're not gonna touch this one. And so we've decided we could put her in the compost. No, I don't. But Esther wants to dig a hole and barrier, so we're more than happy to dig a hole and barrier. Maybe dig it further back. So we're gonna dig a hole, flip the shovel around. Okay, a little further back. Okay, it's gonna be a bit hard ground, I think. The fur is just ridiculously soft. You know, if that if, if it was like a tiger or something, you could use the fur to sew it. That would be horrible, but yes. Oh, the fur is so soft. This ground is so hard, it's unbelievable. All right, let's make a wager. How many of you think that the fox is going to come sniff this out and eat it? It's poison. I do. <laughs> if I had fox poison. Oh, no, we could use rat poison. No. Make it sick. A, I don't have it, and B, no. Oh. All right, goodbye, little bunny. Aww. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, that's so sad. And that's not nearly deep enough. No, it isn't. It's not deep that. enough. Can you pick it's it up, Kitty? Kitty, can, can you pick her up? Nice that's try, Esther. Good. I know that's really hard ground. I mean that. Nice try. <laughs> we might need Daddy to come out and do it. No, first. don't get it off me. We don't want poop on Ooh, us. You have an ant on you. There's ants oh, down there. I know it is. The ants will eat it. Yeah, they will. Oh, I wish I could have done something for her. It's okay. By the time I found her, it was too It was too yeah, long. It was too late for me. Now I'm gonna go in Maybe the a hole. bit wider, Esther? A bit wider. I don't think my body span will fit that far. She's not that small. <gasps> what happened? I know. What happened? Nothing. I've been waging a lot of bu muscle mass. Something happened. We need that dirt to cover up, so don't lose it. Bye. All right, bye. Bye-bye. Good job, Esther. I'm getting very dead. Good job, my girl. Try getting it on the hole, not behind <laughs> it. <laughs> Every single one you missed. <laughs> You're adorable. his food. <laughs> now we need some ketamonas on my spoon. Can you see how it's done, Mom? Yeah, I see how it's done. <laughs>